hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be working on this mosaic uh, bottom and i'm going to be using these two yarns this is seagull brand seagull it's a hundred percent acrylic and i'm going to be working with a three millimeter hook and i hope you love it i can't wait to see your version so before we dive in please like this video give it a thumbs up please and comment share your thoughts with me what you would like me to change and then i'll be there for you guys thank you for this tutorial you're going to take your hip measurements if you're using acrylic yarn you will deduct around five six inches mine is 37 so let's dive in make a loop enter your hook into the loop you have created and make a chain long enough to fit your hip area since i'm using acrylic yarn i'm going to deduct a few inches from my 37 and then i'll make my chain that long but then it should be able to stretch long enough to fit 37 inches but if you're using cotton or something else do, do the exact measurement so this is my measuring tape and my yarn is super stretchy so i deducted so much from it it's up to 30 but it stretches up to 37 inches so if you are done the same thing then let's continue so you're going to close off this with a slip stitch chain one two wrap your yarn around the hook go into the next loop and work a half double crochet and continue to work a half double crochet all around the chain i'm going to meet you almost at the end i'm almost at the end of my chain I have like one or two half double crochets left then come in the very first loop and make a slip stitch so this is our row one we are going to chain one two turn our work and work another row of half double crochets you are going to work to a total of four half double crochets so not to waste a lot of time i'm going to work mine off camera i'll meet you when i'm getting to the end of my fourth half double crochet i am at the end of my fourth row of half double crochet we are going to attach a new color and start a new stitch so come in the first loop pull then get your new color and pull through and then you're going to chain one two to act like your first half double crochet I'm not going to remove this line I'm going to continue moving with the other color of yarn as well stitching it within because I really don't want to cut off edges so you're going to work a half double crochet into the next loop and then another half double crochet those are three half double crochets and then into this next you're going to come down under the fourth half double crochet this next one and put a front post stitch and then 
you're going to continue and work three skip that loop because it's now behind the front post stitch going to the next with a half double crochet then work another half double crochet and a third half double crochet like that then you're going to work another front post in front of, of the fourth half double crochet that is on the third row remember it's the one on the third row not the exact okay so with this stitch you're going to maintain working three half double crochets and one front post as the fourth stitch then three half double crochets and one front post so this is how you're going to keep working it until the end of the row and for the front post make sure it's on the fourth stitch half double crochet and also make sure that you've pulled in between from the third row of the half double crochet rows that we did in the beginning so i'm going to speed up my process look it's gorgeous the color contrast is so beautiful i'm getting to the end of my first row of mosaic stitch i'm going to make one front post i started with three half double crochets so i'm ending with one front post then come in the very first loop from where you began and work a slip stitch but while you're slip stitching you're going to drag the different color if you're working the exact way i'm doing it but if you're not you can pull the different the you can pull the new color that you are attaching so this is my first row of mosaic stitch chain one two done your work oh wow you're going to work a half double crochet along the entire row so since i'm not cutting off the yarn i'm going to just move along with it cover it inside so this is a half double crochet keep working a half double crochet until the end of the row with this yarn inside but i find this method a bit of a yarn wastage but if you have plenty it's okay if you don't have plenty of yarn i would recommend you cut it off and then you'll join it back when you're going to switch to a different color so i'll meet you at the end to switch to that new stitch so um at the i'm getting to the end of my row of half double crochet I have like one loop left now let me see okay it's all done come in the very first loop you began with and work a slip stitch with a new different color like i said if this method is not working for you you can always cut off the yarn and switch to a new color so i'm going to pull and do a slip stitch and then you're going to see how gorgeous it looks so chain one two turn your work because you have to work from the right side and you realize that i am on top of the three stitches so that means i'm going to come into the middle of the three double crochets i mean half double crochets and work a front post like that 
and then continue to the next loop and work a half double crochet then another half double crochet and another half double crochet so that means this leads me to an, the middle half double crochet below i'm going to put a front post and whenever you're doing this please don't forget to skip the loop from the row of the half double crochets like this is my next loop i've skipped the loop from the back here don't forget to skip that because it's going to mess up your stitches so you keep working three half double crochet then you work a front post in between the three double crochets below and you continue doing that so this is technically the whole method of the this mosaic stitch really there are different kinds i have worked a different mosaic stitch before i had never worked this but i found it interesting i got a client who wanted a cardigan a cardigan she saw on arc crochets so when i worked the cardigan i loved the stitch and i was like why not make a, a bottom out of this and man i loved it so you're going to continue working this i'll meet you at the end of this row i'm getting to the end of the of the row so i started with one half double crochet that means i'm going to add two to make a total of three half double crochets and and then i'm going to slip stitch by pulling the different color from the one i've been working with don't over pull it because if you're going to work moving it through the rows if you over pull it it's going to disorganize the fitting of the bottom so please be careful when you're doing that if you know it's disturbing you i recommend you be switching a uh, yarn color per row so this is it you're going to again chain one two and turn your work and then you're going to repeat the row of half double crochets in each loop be very light with the yarn because it's either going to make your bottom be too stiff if you don't loosen your tension and it's going to pull this yarn that you're moving with underneath and then it's going to disorganize the fitting so if you know that is disturbing you please cut off the yarn and attach it when you come back to the row again i'm almost at the end of my half double crochet row i'm going to keep repeating the same thing so i'm going to work mine off camera not to drag this video what i'm requesting you to do is make sure from the row one you started from before you even attached this new color make sure you work to a total of 18 to 20 rows for size small and then make sure you work 20 to 22 rows for size medium make sure to work 25 rows or more to size large but please take your measurements because sometimes we have same weight but different butt size so please use your measurements i'm going to speed up this tutorial i'll meet you when i have 20 rows because i'm going to work 20 rows and like i said if you size medium work a different uh different rows which i already mentioned even the large so i'll meet you when i have all my rows done
I'm done with my 20 rows. I'm going to now join my piece. I've already divided it. I would recommend you do the count and divide it equally as well. And now I'm going to create a chain to separate. And I'm using the color which I am going to be using next. So that is the pink color. So it's the one I'm using to make the chain. For size small, chain 18. Size medium, chain 20 to 22. Large, chain 25 or more. I'm now done with my chain. I'm going to slip stitch through the stitch where I attached my stitch marker. And pull through. After that, you're now going to continue with the exact thing you are working on. That is a row. Since we ended with the brown, you're going to chain two and now continue working a row of um what is it half double crochet make sure you're working from the half double crochets from the wrong side because you work the front post three double crochets from the right side so continue working and rotate all through i'm going to meet you when i'm getting to the end of this row and we continue with our bottom When you reach where you had put a stitch marker, remove it and continue working the half double crochet. And instead of continuing the other end, you're going to join through to the chain that you made. So pull this yarn over the brown one because you're still working it within, grounded within. So, but like I said, if it is disturbing you with your fitting please cut it off and be joining it and then you can weave in the ends later on i'm getting done with this row of half double crochet you're going to come into the very first loop you began with on top of that half double crochet pull through make a slip stitch using a diff the different color sorry so drop off the pink and pick the brown and now you're going to work a mosaic stitch and chain to turn your work you're going to you're going to be working on this very row because we don't have any other extra, extra row underneath. So come on any of the double crochets and put a front post after the chain one. After working a front post, you will work three half double crochets and then you work a front post into the next like this one and continue sorry you skip the back loop like i said that's supposed to be why you entered the front post to keep your stitches aligned so and continue with three half double crochets these are two then this is three like that and then work a front post and then three half double crochets And then that means we this is gorgeous 
so you're going to come in these three dub half double crochets go in the center one and work a front post so you continue doing this and rotate all around i'll meet you at the end i'm going to work on this side i'm going to do a few rows maybe four maybe five maybe six do a do rows of your choice i'm going i'm going to meet you when both my legs are done Before I speed up my work, let me show you just the end of this row. I have three loops left. Just make sure your stitches are counted right. So, these are three. You're going to come in the very beginning where you did a front post. Damn. and work a slip stitch if you began with a half double crochet make sure you have two half double crochets left i've made three because i had one loop extra left and i had to kill it off but if you have th three loops left work three if you had started with we started with a single crochet I mean half double crochet then you know you're going to end with two half double crochets so you're going to turn your work and work a row of half double crochet continue until you have the rows of your choice i'm going to work around six rows and then we go on the next thing i'm going to show up when i have both legs worked on I'm done with my lower part of my bottom. I'm now going to work on the on ribbing the waist area. I'm going to be using front post and back post since we worked with a mosaic stitch. I think it would be the perfect way to make our waist. So make a loop. Enter from your messed up part of your bottom. You're going to work a row of double crochets in each half double crochet I'm getting to the end of the double crochets This is the last loop you're going to come on the very first double crochet enter on the upper loop and slip stitch chain one two you're going to turn your work and you're going now to start working front post back post stitch so we're going to start with a front post and then a back post and work a front post and then a back post so you're going to work this until you until the end of this row we're going to have three rows so i'm going to meet you when we are i'm almost done with this to start on the third row i'm getting done with my second row of front post back post stitch slip stitch in the chain through chain two that you made in the beginning as your double crochet you can actually end your piece here if you want to but i want another row to give it quite a thicker 
layer so chain two turn your work if you want to don't turn it if you don't want to because all of it will do the same thing you're going to work front post and a front post back post and a back post so this is a back post sorry and work a front post and a front post a back post and a back post i'm going to meet you when it's all done i am getting done chain one and cut off the yarn so this is the west it's super gorgeous the bottom is gorgeous and we are going to work on something else but for now we, are, we can actually work on a string that we are going to pass through so make a loop enter your hook and make a string long enough to wrap around your waist which we are going to pass through my string is done and now we are going to go and find the center of our piece that's if you want to have your waist in the string in the middle but i want mine in the corner so i'm actually going to just circle it through until it's by the corner I'm done with the bottom I'm done inserting the strings I'm going to come back on the lower ends of the of my legs this is adjustable so let's dive in, in something new so I am speeding these parts but we are attaching fringes on the on the lower leg areas but I am running out of time so I'm just going to keep speeding these parts. I'm putting two layers on each side so I'm going to show you through speeding and then you do it yourself. 